This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Shalom. I start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalam. Coming back at you with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Hakodash. Alright, the name of this video is Jake Skipping Meals Due to Food Shortage. Alright. And it's related to this article you see on the screen. Alright, so a CARICOM study was done in Guyana and, and other um, Caribbean nations. Alright, about the impact of the, the P to the D to the M, right? You know, and, and food, right? Food shortage and so forth. Alright, so we're gonna start off this article. Um this is by um KTR News, right, on May May 26. Alright, so um it reads the survey implemented by the World Food Program with support from the Food and Agriculture Organization. And four rounds of the survey have been completed since the beginning of the, you know what? It was reported that findings during the February 2022 survey highlighted that citizens are adopting negative coping strategies. Alright? Negative coping strategies. Alright? Uh, let me go down here. To make ends meet. Right? More people are skipping meals and eating less preferred foods. Right? So, you know, hey... You know, you know, prophecy is speaking again. Okay? The Lord is already cutting down and breaking the staff of bread. The staff of bread in this place, in Babylon the Great, you know, in America, and, you know, the, 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 the other countries surrounding America, right? You know, because Guyana, Guyana is pretty much South America. Alright? And, and, and um, it's a CARICOM country, right? Like the other, the other islands of the Caribbean. Alright, and then you see here now, people actually skipping meals because they don't have what, they, they don't have enough food. Alright, and they're eating less preferred foods. You know, Jake like a lot of uh, processed food, a lot of fried food. Alright, so Jake no, no, no longer eating this, which could have a repercussion on those who selling as well. So you see how the whole system, alright, is being affected and being broken down gradually. Alright. And the gradualism is a faster form of gradualism than before. Alright. So let's continue here. Um, it says more people are skipping meals and eating less preferred foods compared to April 2020. Lowest income households, it was said, were most likely, um, were most likely to resort to negative coping strategies. With 94% reporting to have depleted savings, right? Which is, which is the plan of the, of the global banking elites anyway. Right. You know, because money is a defense. Alright. 64% reduced spending on other essential needs, right? Just to eat food. Alright, so you so you cut down um you cut down other things, you cut down buying maybe clothes, buying other um niceties, that things that you like, alright, just to be able to buy food. Alright, and fifty two percent sold their productive assets. Yeah, this may have sold a car. Alright, you know, if you have more than one car, you sell one or you know other, other whatever asset you know an asset is something that generates income so that just shows you hey you know hey this thing is getting dire this 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 famine you know is really coming on stream all right food insecurity has further increased since april 2020 it has been estimated that 58 percent of respondents from ghana are moderately or severely food insecure which is higher than the regional average all right um you see it says jumping on a little bit it says while 58 percent of respondents continue to be worried about getting that that um crown vic royal another 35 percent of citizens are also increasingly worried about meeting their food and other essential needs all right and this is really the plan of this p to the d to the emic right which is well you know 
was to you know to crash the economy global economies to bring on food shortage along with that um that so-called war that's going on between russia and ukraine right to really break the staff of bread throughout the world okay because at the end of the day you know russia and ukraine produce a serious amount of wheat all right you know which is which is um you know hey jake wasn't wise and the other nations obviously weren't wise you know because the scriptures say don't trust the enemies so we, we basically you know even in China and the big right here you know they, they focus i think 90 percent of food comes from outside it's important all right so here's here it's going to be in same same streets as well all right now let's go back to the article as the pan used to impact people's livelihoods two-thirds of the respondents face a disruption in their income and that number is spiritual all right, as we know the two-thirds are jake you know who's set to be destroyed all right you're going to be destroyed by what all different manners manners of, of plagues and pestilence that the lord is sending and famine all right as the lord said their spirits created for vengeance all right so the lord is sending this sending this 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 famine the lord is the lord is the one you know you know is is doing it you know despite what what the global banking elites believe that they they are called the accomplishing by this crown vic royal all right they 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 um <clears throat> they actually doing the will of the heavenly father and his son you know your hawa why your shy okay so i mean this i just meant this will be a quick hit so i ain't going to too much detail let me get some scriptures i'll put the um i'll put this um the, the link for this um article in the description box all right let's get some precepts here yeah the book of ezekiel <clears throat> ezekiel chapter 14 verse 13 and it reads son of man when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously and when you know jake did trespass grievously all right you know the whole world is, is out of course all right you know but jake trespassed and fallen the ways of the heathen it reads then will i stretch out my hand upon it and will break the staff of the bread thereof all right so this bread is being broken by why by the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahweh shai and his son yahweh shai mashiach all right and will send famine upon it and will cut off man and beast from it so man and beast gonna be cut off all right man and beast gonna be cut off all right you also have hyperinflation coming in with the prices increasing as as things get more scarce and they get less and less you know even in the tins of food all right you know just talking to a guy in work there and he was telling me that you know you know he, he bought some um two packs of um of noodles and usually when he when he buys two packs he fill up his bowl now we see they're saying that his bowl can't even can't even reach the top but yet he's paying more money and it's going to get worse and worse until into Jacob's trouble, right? Less and less food for more and more money. Hyperinflation, all right? The cost, is, the, the, the cost and the prices of everything that's going way, way up, you know? Way, way up, right? Which, of course, you know, is a, is a, is a result of the, the flawed monetary system, okay? The fiat currency. So the Lord said he's going to cut off man and beast. This is the determination that the Lord said he's gonna do, he's gonna send famine, he gonna, you know, basically he's gonna send death. But this is how we're gonna cut them off. Let's get Jeremiah. I don't go too much into it and too many precepts, but let's get a street spirit. Jeremiah 15. And uh let's start at first one. Um it says, Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. It shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord, such as for death to death, such as the, for the sword to the sword, such as for, for the famine to the famine, such as for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds, four kinds of what? Four kinds of death. All right. The sword to slay, the dogs to tear. The fowls of the heaven and the beast to, to the, of the earth to devour and to destroy. So this is what the Lord um, plan have planned for for Jake. Okay, 
The Lord is sending these um, spirits created for vengeance. All right, when we go to the book of Sirach, let's see if we can get that. Sirach 39. Yeah, Sirach 39 and 28, it reads there that there be spirits that are created for vengeance. So the Lord is sending these spirits now. It's already started. All right. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. So they're being poured out right now. To appease the wrath of him that made them fire and hail and famine. Right? Famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. And the Lord pro said in prophecy that these things were. Uh, let's. Let's. um. Let's get that. Let's get the book of Revelation, chapter 6, and verse 5. All right, Revelation 6, and verse 5, it reads, And when he had opened the third seal, I beheld the, the third beast say, Come and see. All right. Come and see, and I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Right? That black horse was going into judgment, in slavery and judgment, and a pair of balances. Okay? Right? Balancing, you know, in terms of money. All right? Finances. And I heard a number, a voice in the midst of the four beasts saying, A measure of wheat for a penny. And three measures of barley for a penny, right? So you know, so you know that that's that's you know basically going into high prices. All right. In the apocrypha, talk about when victuals shall be so cheap, and the earth they shall think themselves to be in good case. But you know, but that's going that's going to change quickly due to hyperinflation, right? So continuing here in um, Revelation six and verse six, it says, "And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine," right? You know. The oil, of course, going into the um, spiritual, in a spiritual sense, going into the truth, right? Oil and the wine, right? But this, going, this, this scripture going into what? Hyperinflation, which will lead into famine, okay? Because, you know, first of all, people losing their jobs, and that same article goes through that, right? They reduce income, either one party had to stop working to take care of the children who are home, all right, during that period of time, all right? So the Lord have everything set up. Let me get this um I'll get this scripture here. Second Esther sixteen verse seventeen. Yeah, it says second Esther sixteen and seven. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars. And the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Right? Scourges to change, for Jake to change their ways. To amend their ways. Right? But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness. Nor be all foes mindful of the scourges. Right? Verse 21. Behold victual shall be so good cheap upon the earth. That they shall think themselves to be in good case, right? So before, you know, um, victuals were were good, were cheap, right? Especially in Babylon and other countries, when even in the Caribbean things were a lot cheaper. Now we see they taking fuel subsidy or fuel prices, all these things driving the prices up, all right? You know, the the U.S. dollar is losing its value, okay? So hey, they're gonna think when they thought that uh, uh, victuals were so cheap, you know. Um, they, they took themselves to, they, they think, they, um, in fact, let me read that over and I want to butcher it. Second Ezra 16 and 21. Behold, victual shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. So, hey, why, well, Jake, Jake now going to be in a bad state. Right? For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape hunger shall the sword destroy so this is a period of what judgment all right now let me get to a couple quick scriptures and close this out amos chapter 4 verse 6 it reads what and i have also 
and I also and I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and want of bread in all your places. Yet ye have not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Right, you shake and repent. All right, although we we out there on the highways and the byways, you know, tell them week in, week out, in the videos, day in, day out, you know, Jake not repenting. All right, and also I have withholden the rain from you, and when there were yet three months in the, to the harvest, I caused it to rain upon one city, and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon, and the piece whereupon it rained not without, not without. All right, so the Lord, Lord do that because he's slowly, gradually doing this thing, you know, where he put in, he put in, um, he ain't going to close it down one time, you know. Grad the Lord created created um gradualism. Alright? You know, when you go into the scriptures, Abraham, you know, went down into Egypt, you know, when there was famine. Alright, Isaac, you know, went went to the um the, the Philistines, alright, when there was famine. Alright, so you know the, the certain cities are gonna have food until the Lord closes off completely. Alright, verse nine reads, I have smitten you with blasting and milled you. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increase, the palmer worm devoured them. Right, so we have all those things happening now. We have grasshoppers eating down fields, all kind of pests. All right, devour them. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So Jacob ain't gonna get right, and this is why the Lord is sending this judgment on them. But you know, if you remember the lack, you have hope. Right, because the Lord said, the Lord promised His people, right, the elect of nation of Israel, not even the whole nation. Right, Job five and twenty it says, "In famine He shall redeem thee from death." Right, so the Lord gonna still make a way for the elect of the nation of Israel, those doing His work, and right, those change, claim, um, changing their ways, returning unto the Lord ways. All right, returning unto Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. Right, the Lord say, "You gonna what? You gonna redeem thee." Right, Job 5 and 20. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Right, so hey, all that's coming. But the Lord is going to what? He's going to redeem us. Now, this last scripture, Psalm 37, verse 19, it reads what? They shall not be ashamed in the evil day. Right, and in fact, let me start a little higher up. Um, Psalm 37 and 17 For the arms of the wicked shall be broken right? He saw Edom right? And even the two thirds They are wicked too But Yahweh upholdeth the righteous Yahweh knoweth the ways of the upright And the inheritance shall be forever They shall not be ashamed In the evil time And this is an evil time coming in here No food, no water Alright You know the sword Okay and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Alright, they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of Yahweh shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume into smoke. Shall they consume away. Right, so this is what, if you don't have your Bashim, your Shai, you finish. Alright, I'll, I'll end it there. I pray this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praises and on glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double on us unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Till next time, destruction unto Babylon, a bad babal. Shalom.